In this video, we will look at a few examples to practice working with mutually inclusive events. In example A, it says, what is the probability of choosing a card from a deck of cards that is a club or a 10? So we're going to choose a card and we're thinking about what's the probability that will, it will end up being a club or a 10. So let's think about each of these events separately first. So the probability that it's a club will be 13 out of 52. That's because there are 52 cards in the deck and a quarter of those or 13 of those are clubs because there are four different suits. So the probability that it's a club is 13 out of 52. Now what about the probability that it's a 10? Well, there are four tens in the deck, one for each suit, and again, 52 cards total. So the probability is four out of 52. Now, before we move further, we should think about, are these two events mutually inclusive? So do they share some overlap? Is there a card or two that fits in both of these? Or are they exclusive, where they have no overlap? So when you think about it, you'll realize that there is one card that fits in both, and that would be the 10 of clubs. So if we were to just add up these two probabilities to figure out the probability of a club or a 10, we would be counting that 10 of clubs twice. So what we want to do to figure out the probability that it's a club or a 10 is we'll add them up. So the probability of a club plus the probability of 10, but then we'll subtract the probability that it's a club and a 10, which means basically the 10 of clubs, because by adding these two up here, we've counted that 10 of clubs twice. So we need to subtract it out once to make sure we've only counted it once. And once we do that, we'll have our answer. So the probability of a club is 13 out of 52, the probability of a 10 is 4 out of 52, and the probability of a club and a 10 is just 1 out of 52, because there's only one card in the deck that is both a club and a 10. So now we can just combine these up and get our answer of 16 out of 52, or 4 out of 13. In example B, it says, what is the probability of choosing a number from 1 to 10 that is less than 5 or odd? So we have two different events. Again, we're thinking about or. So the probability that one happens or the other happens. So let's think about the probability separately to start. So the probability that we pick a number less than 5. Well, we're thinking about our sample space is the numbers from 1 to 10. So the numbers that are less than 5 will be 1, 2, 3, and 4. So there are four numbers there less than 10. So the probability will be 4 out of 10 because there are 10 numbers total. Now the other part is the probability that the number we choose is odd. There are five odd numbers from 1 to 10, 1, 3, 5, 7, and 9. So the probability is 5 out of 10. Now we have to think about the overlap, if there is any. So that would mean the probability that we choose a number less than 5 and odd. So what are the numbers that fit into both categories? What are the numbers less than 5 that are odd? And that would be 1 and 3. So the probability of a number being less than 5 and odd is 2 out of 10, because there are two numbers, 1 and 3, that are both less than 5 and odd. Now we can use all of this information to get our answer. The probability that a number will be less than 5 or odd will just be the sum of the probability that it's less than 5 and the probability that it's odd minus the probability that it's both less than 5 and odd because those are the numbers we've counted twice. So what we'll get is 4 out of 10 plus 5 out of 10 minus 2 out of 10, which is just 7 out of 10.